Hey everyone, it is me, TNTN, and I'm back with another episode on the TazCraft server. It is episode ooh, 7, 7, 7, right? I was wrong, it's episode 6, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyways, we are back on the TazCraft server, um, and I'm starting things off over here in TazTown. Now, I know we have not talked about TazTown basically at all, um, but basically it's just this little district in the TazCraft server um, where people can kind of just like build a little city, a little town, and like... It, all kind of comes together to be like one big thing um but actually there's a little uh challenge i guess is the right word being hosted over here on the tazcraft server at taztown um and that's an 8x8 build challenge so this is hosted by zix um because he likes building and he has a lot of diamonds <laughs> um but basically he's challenging people to build a little structure and an 8x8 area um and yeah just have fun so I thought that I would might as well do it because Zix is giving away a diamond block even if you just put effort into your build and then the winner gets even more so it's worth it. <laughs> Alright so I got what I want to do. So basically a lot of people are towering up which is like cool you know they're showing off their building skills but we are allowed to go underground too which I have not seen anyone do yet. Um, so I, it'll just, you know, help me stand out and whatnot, and I did talk to Zix, it is allowed. Um, the only thing is that if we build underground, uh, we actually have to use the 8x8 as walls. We cannot, like, replace, um, the 10x10 area, uh, like this right here with walls. You actually have to, like, build up here, which is part of our 8x8, which makes our room smaller, but it's, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so yeah, this is the area that we're working with, basically, and what I'm basically trying to do is well first of all the walls will all be nicely decorated um but there will be like two water tunnels two water elevators that go down um and there's going to be just basically a lot of floors that kind of just yeah that are in this place um and i think i'm just going to try to decorate it super nicely this will just help me stand out um and also i think that might turn out to be kind of cool oh and by the way yes we're 100 percent going all the way down to bedrock and currently we are on level 54 so questioning about getting a beacon probably would make things faster <laughs> all right well thank you to zix uh because he's the one that actually gave me the materials to make a big uh, beacon but now we have one so this should be way 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 faster to get all the way down to bedrock which is of course our goal you know doing this really does pay off because i already found diamonds which i'm super happy about uh this actually took quite a while so are you oh gabriel you have just made an enemy today you have just made an enemy so now it's time to start decorating i'm trying to figure out which wood i like best with this uh as the floor because i really want dark floors for the bottom i don't know why it just kind of feels right i think contrast might be better so i'm leaning towards this birch yeah yeah, I'd say so. Alright, let's go with Birch. So, a little, little progress update. This is what we have on the first floor. So, just crafting table, uh, furnace, and we're working on the little farm right now. But it is working, which is great. The only problem is we don't have that much bone meal, so I'll just show you guys a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna save most of the bone meal for when Zix actually comes and checks out the build. Um, because I think that this thing might help us out a little bit in getting higher ranking. Um, but yeah, it, it's done. So, second floor now. Okay, oh my gosh, I've been working for like um, an hour and a half, I think, ish, on the second room. So pretend that, this is a creative world, by the way. So pretend that, like, you know, down here is the first room. This is the second room, okay? I really wanted to make a vault, and as you can see, this looks like it's, it's just a knockoff. It, it, there doesn't seem to be anything, and this should also be like the same block as the wall. Um, yeah, it, look, it looks really boring, right? But if we throw a block right here, this actually opens up to a bunch of chests. Now, this block can be, you know, it can take basically any item. Um, but the, the point is, most people won't probably know what to do exactly in this situation. They'll probably, they might look for like a hidden button or something. Um, but yeah, this actually works and it took me, ooh, very, very, very long. So the design... It is by Cyan Gaming. Um, I think they may have taken it from someone else. I don't. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and if we look below, this is actually what it looks like. Um, right here, this little thing, this little thing, this little I don't know what to call it. This little eye-ish thing. Um, then basically everything around it is my work. 
Um, so yeah, it looks really messy and that's because it is really messy, but everything down here had to fit in an 8x8 area. Also, keep in mind that part of the 8x8 was being taken up by the water elevator, so like I couldn't break some blocks and it was, it was just hard. Uh, but yeah, took a while and I hope, I hope, I really hope that Zix likes it. Uh, I know Zix likes redstone and buildings, so yeah. Oh my gosh, that's an invisible spider. Uh, I hate invisible spiders. Anyways, if you come down here, as you can see, I have started on the next room. Uh, this is actually like four levels higher than the other room because we need room for the redstone, uh, which we do have. Uh, so yeah, now we're just trying to fill in all this. Alright, so I've made the, the room how I want it to look. Uh, so now I just have to go gather materials for the redstone. Uh, which should not be that much, it's mostly just observers, pistons, and just stuff like that. So, yeah, let's go, let's go start that. And we officially have the piston door now working, which is great, so as long as we flip this lever, it works really, really well, but of course we want to get rid of that lever, and instead activate this thing through this little setup I have right here. So we just have to, yeah, get this like little line going over here, and the T flip flop and whatnot, and then going into that dispenser right there, or actually it's the dropper. Guys, I'm so happy. Look at this. Ready? 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 You throw it in. And there we go. We have access. This is this is amazing. I love redstone so much. We can just do this sort of stuff. I know this is not that impressive, but like still, it's just a fun little thing. Uh, so that is now basically two floors completed. Uh, this one still does not look great, but this actually still has some this has some nice designing, I'd say. I think it looks pretty good and it of course has redstone which Zix really likes and I really like uh, so now we just have to add the chests I think and I do have quite a bit of wood on me which is great and now I think that we can officially say that this thing is done so it works quite nicely and I did load this place up with chests which is great so next room and I have an idea for this one uh, I kind of want to make it like a reading room so there's gonna be like a little library um, I'm gonna try to get some parrots down here actually uh, and just kind of have them like sitting. It's gonna be green. It's gonna it's gonna be really cute. It's just gonna be like this little green uh, reading library nook. So let's go try to get some parrots though. Also, I just messed with like the colors and like brightness and whatnot. So tell me in the comments below if it looks better. I think it looks a lot better. Sometimes we get like a little bit dark and whatnot. We have found our first parrot. So if we just we have like two stacks of seeds, and I do want another one. Hey, there we go. All right, perfect. Okay, that was actually super easy. I somehow did not think about the fact that I actually have to build this thing before I get parrots. So we're just gonna have him sit up here, probably. I guess. Uh, yeah, that's probably the best idea. And now we're down to our last two diamonds. Not great. <laughs> Now this room should be really pretty because I actually want to have super large ceilings because we have so much space. I don't know what to do with all this space. Um, so the plan is to make it go up to like five blocks high or something like that. And then basically, or maybe even more, maybe like six, and have uh, basically just leaves coming down from the ceiling. I think it would look really cool. Uh, the walls are going to be oak with some... Um, actually, I don't, I don't think that I should have these part of the wall. I think that I should have them coming out, add some depth, uh, and then we're gonna have parrots around, and then we're also gonna have a little stairs as seats. Um, but how does... yeah, that looks better. That looks a lot better. Uh, but we do not have much room, so I don't want to use, like, a ton of these bookshelves, like, sticking out. That's the problem that I'm having. I think this might work well, so, like, this one's in, but all the other ones are sticking out. Um, I think that the setup will be good, so let's go to a forest and let's gather a lot of oak. A lot of oak. A stack and a half of wood later, um, still thinking about going higher, honestly. Uh, this is one, two, three, four, this is six blocks right here, because we're gonna have leaves hanging down. Also, I don't want to use too much room. I think we'll go up by like two more blocks, though. That should be good, so then we'll cover it. And then leaves will hang down, and then we'll have parrots in here, and there will be leaves everywhere, and like there'll be a little bench here. Uh, how do we want to light this place, though? I have no idea. We'll figure that out tomorrow because I have to get off it today. <laughs> and then my internet was down for a day, so that was great. <laughs> what the? Uh, um, I'm very confused right now. Um, it's working fine for Gabriel. 
So hopefully it's fixed now. It's fixed now. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I like how that looks. I really, really like how that looks. Okay, I'm low-key really, really, really liking this room. Uh, so I think, I think it's basically done. We might want to get like one more parrot. I think that would do well. All right, I think this is the finished library. So we got vines coming down. We have little bamboos, uh, like shoots and pops. Uh, and we even have a little parrot, so we have two parrots now. Uh, I think I think this looks really good, actually. I really, really like this room, and I'm honestly thinking about making, like, a part of my base, like, just kind of this type of style. Uh, just, you know, kind of foresty, kind of just a little cute. Hey, that's really pretty. Thank you. A uh, little cute, like, earthy little room. I don't know, building. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. We still have not gone to our base yet, so yeah, but I really, really love this room. And now we're on to the bathroom. Now, I asked my brother and he suggests that I use uh, black concrete as the walls and that I use this blue glazed terracotta as the flooring, uh, and I did not like it, so I called in my sister who has a better sense of, of style. No offense to my brother. I love him dearly. Uh, and she did like the flooring, but she wanted the walls, she thought that the walls would be better if they were uh, quartz. And I agree with her, this this looks better. Uh, and then have these for lighting. So I think that this is what we're gonna go for, and that, now I'm just gonna do the redstone really fast. Okay, so I have the shower working, and it looks absolutely incredible. Um, I know that this is not that impressive at all, but here's, here's the thing. So, if we go out here, and like we grab a slab and we'll go go out into the wilderness <laughs> now if you think that if there's a slab here you think that you know the water will flow into it but nope it flows out of it uh, so what you have to do is you actually have to replace this block right here uh, you actually have to waterlog this slab so if you just waterlog it then if we place this here uh, yeah it, look, it looks good it comes out just a little bit but the, it doesn't like spread out everywhere um, and if you have some glass panes coming over down here, there we go. Doesn't even do that, right? It's amazing. So the problem is, though, that once we actually take the water away, uh, yeah, this is still waterlogged, and it does not look good. It does not look good at all. Uh, it looks like your plumbing got messed up or something, and now it's just not draining properly. Uh, so what I had to do is I had to make a dispenser that goes all the way down here and also, you know, takes away the water. Uh, but the problem with that is um, we can't really transmit information down there super easily because we're already using up our 8x8 area. We can't go through the walls. The only space that we have is this little edge right here because we don't actually need this. This is You can't see these blocks or anything. Uh, so to get information downwards, what I use is a water bucket. So basically this dispenser is uh, dumping water down here, which is being detected by this observer, which is coming down here and making the signal long and whatnot. So basically, in long, long story short, um, yeah, the redstone's more complicated than you think. So story time. Basically, uh, Grand, uh, I told him that I had like literally two diamonds, which is true. Now I have about zero. Uh, so he came over to my base and just drops them off. Uh, but then I told him that I actually don't want the diamonds and that I actually need uh, nine choker boxes of carpet. So he's like, sure, no problem. And he has a gigantic wool farm, so it really was no problem. He got this done uh, today. <laughs> uh, and then he also dropped off some yellow dye because I don't know why. And then there's also this sign here that says, uh, of course. Okay, I'm gonna return this to his base because although I, these are like great and nice, um, yeah, I'm, I, I, I don't wanna take his diamonds. He's already done so much for me. So I'm gonna just drop these off really fast. Now, if you guys do not know why I need a uh, nine shulker box full of white carpet, it's actually because I want to make an infinity room. I know we're focusing on a bathroom, but then I'm like, oh my gosh, what if we just make an infinity room? Because that would be so cool and it has so much effort put into it, and I think Zix would love it. Um, so that's what we're gonna go do. So I, that's why I need all this white uh, carpet because it shows up white on maps and I don't want to do like concrete or something stupid like that. I actually made a tutorial on the infinity room 
Uh, this effect, I don't know if it was made by Grin, but he's the one that I found it from. Uh, it's my most viewed video, it has like 100,000 views or something crazy like that. So if you want to go check it out, hopefully link in the description. Uh, but yeah, we gotta go make a portal so we can actually do this. And this is where uh, my sandstone's gonna come in handy from clearing out my base because I can have nine sugar boxes full of sandstone to lay down uh, where I can put the carpet then on top of. Alright, so we're over where I'm actually gonna build this thing and if we take out our map... Okay! Oh, that's actually so perfect. So we're gonna go out that way. It doesn't look like any islands are going to interfere. Now, here's the thing, we honestly could just leave it as this blue and it would work just fine. But there is something about white that's just so nice. And like, this does not take any effort. Making this whole thing white does, so... I think we're gonna try it and make it all white, which... Yeah, might, might take a while. <laughs> now this was a three day project, but we're already reaching the end of the video. It's like almost 20 minutes long. Uh, so yeah, our map looks like this, and now it looks like this, and we're done. I'm, I'm sorry, that's all I really had time for. <laughs> Also, remember the diamonds I returned to Grand because he, I told him to take the diamonds and he didn't take the diamonds? Well, apparently he took the diamonds. Those were different diamonds that were given given to me by Gabe uh, because Gabe stole my diamonds earlier. So we, he was just returning them and I got like 24 diamonds out of them, which is great. So, uh, progress update. I'm done, pretty obviously. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the, it looks it looks so amazing. So I made this into kind of just like the living room, you know, it's really not that long. It, it's, it's the dimensions you see right here. Um, and then I even put a painting because I thought that it looked cool. Uh, so yeah, this is the water elevator. And if you look outside of the water elevator, it's just white. It's just pure white, which I find funny. Uh, so next is if we rock it out of here, uh, the bathroom. I don't know why anyone would have a bathroom on the second floor. Uh, but I, but yeah, it's the bathroom. So I have a shulker box. Okay, I left my shulker box at my base. Be right back. <laughs> like I was saying, I have a box of uh, materials that I need to build this bathroom. So uh, the walls are going to be quartz, and then the ceiling's also going to be quartz, and then we're going to have the dispensers and whatnot, and redstone is all in here. So pretty, pretty simple. <laughs> Here's the problem. I only have one room left in mine, and that's the bedroom, and we have oh, so much space. Like, seriously, I went up extra on this, like, part. Uh, so, my plan at this point is to kind of do what I did in the library. Uh, so, for the bedroom, I kind of want it to be the nature of, like, the library. Uh, but uh, because we have so much room, I'm thinking about doing a loft. So, you can kind of, like, peer over. It'll be a small loft, but I think it might add a cute aesthetic to it. Uh, so yeah, let's go get some leaves, let's go get some logs, and let's try to get this done in one hour, because that's all I have left. <laughs> Alright, so this is the floor that we have. This is gonna be wall, don't worry about that. Uh, and I actually layered it down so that some, like, it's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, just like, kind of, like, wood everywhere, like, some higher than the others, just kind of, like, roots coming up, and then I put leaves, like, in whatever airspace there was left. Uh, but you can't really see it, and I don't like it when it pokes up like that. But it's there, it's extra detail, just saying. You can kind of see it from the side when you're coming up, maybe. Uh, but yeah, so this is what we have to work with now, and that's actually a pretty good height. I don't know if we'll actually be able to fit a loft in. Uh, we'll probably have to do kind of an ugly-ish roof, which... Eh. Uh, but yeah, so it's alright, it's alright. We'll figure it out, but let's actually start putting more stuff in here. So we actually have 10 blocks to work with, uh, and I'm kind of scared to do this, but... Yeah, that looks better. Alright, let's strip these pieces of wood. So this is going to be kind of like the corner pieces that people sometimes do. Uh, it takes up a lot of space, but I think that they look pretty nice, so we're going we're gonna to try it. Okay, wait, I had this idea, and I really, really, really want to do it. So basically, we take all this down, and we replace it with a library, not libraries, bookshelves. I think it would be so nice to have like a wall of bookshelves. I think it would look really cool. Bad idea, but I think I know how to make it better. <laughs> that looks a little bit better, I guess. We're gonna keep it because I already paid Zix for these bookshelves. Yeah, the, these bookshelves came from Zix. Uh, he knows about th that they're for the the competition. I don't. I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, anyways, let's go get wool for some uh, uh, beds. <laughs> well, there it is. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're done here. Uh, I know it's not the most beautiful thing on the outside, and I would love to fix it, but I honestly do not have the time, and I, before I forget, I should probably fill up that water. 
Alright, so this is an official tour now. Uh, it says TNT's 8x8 build challenge. All redstone is in the 8x8 dimension. Uh, there are six floors and a loft. So if we head down. This is the loft of the first floor. Uh, I like how this turned out actually. I really, really, really like it. Like it, and I'm honestly somewhat shocked myself with how good this has turned out. Uh, then this is the actual first floor, which is also nice. It's just kind of you know a little bedroom. Uh, I want to do some redstone here where like it has a lamp that tells you when you can sleep and when you can't. Uh, but pff, don't have the time. I do not have the time. I've already gone past my limit. Uh, and then if we go down to the next floor, this one has that long hallway. Oh, 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 wait, oh, wait, there we go. This is the bathroom, uh, and we have our little toilet, we have our sink, and we have our shower, which is actually functional and can spit out some water, which is great. Um, and also it's nice and clean, so this, this block not waterlogged, yep. And you guys might be wondering, why did I not just flip this so that, oh, instead of that, it looks like, uh, this, and it's because that does not work, it has to be facing this direction. Uh, anyways, moving on, uh, we have our infinity room which took me three days of work. Yep, you heard that correctly, three days. It was it was horrible, uh, but it, it's done and it looks amazing, so I'm happy. Uh, then this is the right one. If we go down here, this is our little library. I've got our two parrots. I should name these, but I'm out of time. Uh, we have, yeah, just a nice little green room uh, with some bookshelves here and there. And then if we go down to our vault, this one's really cool. You just throw a little stick or whatever, really, and well, bam That looks great. I would love to fill this up with some stuff, but once again, no time. And then just throw it back to close back up. And then the last floor, the actually really boring floor, our little farm. Uh, and I will remove this water really fast because I personally do not like it there. That is our build, and it took us about uh, five days, I think, maybe six. Uh, so yeah, I'm... I'm happy with it. I spent a ton of diamonds on this, but at least we're going to get nine back, uh, possibly way more than that. And I really had a good time building this at the end. It was not, I was not in it for the diamonds. I just really wanted to finish it because I really was liking where it was going. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I hope Zix enjoys it. Uh, but we do have an iron farm to get to, so yeah. <laughs> And Zix did like it. Uh, so he actually did a live stream and we can just take a little look at that really fast. So... Let's see what we got here. Whoa, 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 shower! You shower... <laughs> you showers... You showers just like, No, you must swim! Yeah, the shower got kind of got messed up. It's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. I missed a room? I didn't think I missed a room. Oh, 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 oh no! I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> this room made him cry. cry? I, 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 don't, I don't know, but it, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Whoa. <laughs> nice. So yeah, I think that leaves Tion. Our winner. Yeah, so instead of five diamond blocks, I got ten, and I'm so happy right now. I have diamonds. I actually have diamonds. I came out of I came out of this challenge richer than I was before, which is saying something considering it did spend quite a lot. So in total, we have now ninety diamonds, which is more than a stack. I I'm really really happy. So let's go pop this in our ender chest, uh, and then we also uh, got hired to make a infinity room for someone. So that would be awesome dude that wants an infinity room. Uh, so we're actually gonna go work on that. And I don't think we will get to the iron farm today, but we always have next week. So I'm sorry to everyone who's waiting on the iron farm, but I'd rather have diamonds than iron. <laughs> so I was ended up being paid, uh, I believe 35 diamonds. The thing is though, awesome dude actually helped a ton when it come, came down to getting uh, leather and also paper. Uh, so I actually paid him 22 diamonds back because it, once I have that stuff, it's really, really easy to make. Uh, and I don't mind helping him out, but yeah, this is, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's, it's weird and wacky. I, I, I don't know where I am and I'm probably not going to be able to find my way out of this exit for a while. A good tip is to throw down a piece of food, 
find the corners and then you can just kind of scoot your way along until you find the exit. There it is. I got it. I got it. But that's all I have time for today, guys. Really, I don't have time for like half the things I did in this video. The video is 30 minutes long in editing time right now. Uh, it will be cut down. Don't worry. Uh, but that's that's all I have time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Sorry it was a little bit longer than others. We got a lot done, though. And that's really all I have time for. So check out Sticky Piston. Sticky Piston is a Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from, such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out, and I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because, like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. 